I'm back from Jack's conference where I presented uh, 100 snippets, um, Java snippets, from this channel. And I got an excellent question from attendee. What happens when I concatenate an endless stream? So I promised to record a short about that. And here it is. So here is an endless stream. And um, as already introduced in an earlier short. And um, let's create another one. So let's do this, and uh, I would like to call it second. And let's replace that with the concatenation of first and second. Okay, here we are. But these streams are identical. Both are starting with 1,000. So what I would like to do is to start the second one with zero. So this one goes from 1,000 to endless and this from zero. Now, if we run the code, you will see nothing because um, yeah, because we just see a lot of numbers. So what I would like to do is to, um, to restrict the first one, let's say to limit the first one to uh, maybe only 10, or actually five are enough. And uh, let's do restrict everything to, uh, let's say 20 is enough. Now, so if we rerun the code, we see that the first stream um, is exhausted also um, after after five iterations. So this is after five, and then it ends, and then the second one starts. And of course, if the first would be endless, it will uh, go forever, and the second one will be never concatenated. So, and uh, if I remove this, we will um, see now that the first one, first twin stream. Uh, stops after five slots and the second one goes forever. So at least this is what I expect. And this is also what happens.